with that hello everyone i'm seven months old i've come here today <coughs> to tell you about that keep watching if you would like to see <coughs> yeah So today, me and this little potato head are here to talk about her seven month update because you were seven months last week, weren't you? She's actually seven months and a week tomorrow, but who cares about that? We're a bit overdue, but we've got lots to talk about anyway. So one of the reasons why i left it a little bit longer and didn't film it on the day was because uh daisy was actually at the hospital on wednesday and she got weighed and things like that and i thought there would be things that i could update on so i thought i would wait and i know that like these updates are probably wearing a little bit thin for some of you now because maybe <laughs> it's not as exciting for you as it is for me because I don't know, I just love seeing her get stronger and better, but let's talk about what's new with you. Um, the first thing is that developmentally in terms of like new things that she's doing and things like that, <coughs> hello, you will see that she, <laughs> she is a lot sturdier now, um, she's constantly wanting to stand and be upright and things like that and she can sit now as well, don't get me wrong, she's a little bit wobbly and that can be problematic sometimes but she is sitting on the floor and playing with the toys and things like that. She is now in her stoker trip trap normal seat and she doesn't need to use the newborn one whoa anymore and honestly at the moment she's standing on my lap and i'm barely holding her up the weird thing about daisy though is that she's quite sturdy on her legs but she still can't crawl and maybe that's not like so weird because she's only seven months and i'm pretty sure that bill was crawling around now though but i think she's going to be like i was as a baby because my parents said that I kind of went like straight into trying to walk rather than crawling around and I was a bum shuffler. So I'm wondering if this little one is going to follow soon. As well as you probably noticed, she's very vocal these days and likes to shout and make herself known. Um, she mainly does this noise which is ah, ah, and that means she's excited so she does that at Bill a lot and she does it when she spots one of our cats because we've got two cats and um, she dances I've noticed if you play music she bops which is really really cute but obviously at her age everything that comes out of her mouth pretty much makes no sense whatsoever even though we are trying to teach her to say hello and things like that like wave she's not quite grasped that yet we don't have any teeth yet which has really surprised me because Bill got his when he turned exactly seven months old um, and he had like one of his bottom peggies come through so I feel like hers are coming we did have a few nights about a week ago where she was awful like she was screaming and wouldn't let you touch her mouth to put like ambrosol on and stuff and her gums were bulging but they've gone back down again so i reckon like the next time she starts teething we will probably get some tea which would be really good because it would make weaning a lot easier i think so physically in terms of what she looks like the majority of people say that she is my double and that may be something to do with the fact that obviously we've got the same syndrome but i really do see her dad in it particularly when she's frowning and concentrating stop trying to eat me um she has her dad's color eyes so she's still got blue eyes haven't you um but she's got like my eye shape she's got her dad's nose even though it's a small one like mine she's got my lips she's got her dad's forehead because she frowns like a dad and her dad's ears I think um, and the rest of her probably is me I don't really know it's hard to see yourself in your baby so let me know 
in the comments down below what you think um and another physical thing is that her hair has grown so much i don't know if you can see but it is so long now and it's getting scruffy isn't it you a scruffy puppy are you a scruffy puppy don't eat my hair you cheeky monkey <laughs> She's also in size six to nine month clothing. This is a six to nine month sleep suit from Next. And I would say these are only going to last her another month or so, I think. Maybe not even that because she's quite long. Um, so what happened at hospital? Well, at hospital, it was a routine paediatric checkup um, where she was going back to see one of the doctors that saw her when she was born. And she was going to have her heart scanned, so to have like an ultrasound done of her heart. Because when she was born, they did that anyway as a precaution just to check her over and see how she was. And um, she had a funny valve at the time and a small hole in her heart. The valve was the most unusual thing, but that has clo since closed up so that's fine but she still has the small hole but our um pediatrician who's lovely was saying that a lot of babies are born with that and it closes as they get older and even then if it doesn't 15 percent of adults still have it so not going to cause her any problems with life in general if it sticks around and she can still have surgery in february as well now we have had a bit of a secret challenge on our plates like recently um, and i say secret it's just that i don't talk about things as much because obviously we have been through a lot but I don't want to continue being that mum that's in your feeds like worrying about a baby all the time because obviously I know I'm really lucky to have my daughter with me and I am obviously making the most of that but we saw Daisy's cleft nurse um a couple of weeks ago and she weighed Daisy we hadn't had a weighed in a while which was nice because we've been weighing her like every week up until that point because of a feeding tube coming out and Daisy had only gained four ounces in about three four weeks which isn't very much at all and yes she had get, got like more mobile and things like that and that's normal but it is still below average and Daisy up until that point had always been quite a consistent gainer and a good weight um both Bill and Daisy were very tall children, like I was, and they're not chubby chubby, but they never ever looked skinny by any means. So our cleft nurse, Diane, said basically you need to try and get her weight up, and she says she's not overly concerned about it, but it could be at this paediatrician appointment that we had coming up. Um, that they might get a bit funny about it and try and say like oh maybe she needs to go on high calorie milk or have the feeding tube put back go back in and diane said that's not even necessary but different hospitals get you know worried about different things hello baby hi so me and mark were kind of on a mission then to help her gain as much as she could and we were adding things like cream and butter to her food and increasing the amount she took as well because we hadn't increased how much food she was eating since she started and she started at around four and a half months old for medical reasons for anyone that's new to our channel um because she used to have a feeding tube and the whole aim was to get that feeding tube out by starting early weaning so she wouldn't need it for a longer period of time and wouldn't develop oral aversion so we really really tried in this past couple of weeks to get her weight up and we upped the amount she was taking and we tried her with different foods and we didn't go strictly down just fruit and veg all the time anymore we were mixing loads of other things in and we had a weight on wednesday so she may even be heavier now and she had put on a whole pound and one ounce so she's now 17 pounds and five ounces and i just checked her red book and that puts her between like the 50th and 75th century for weight i think so she's doing really really well and we are so 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 pleased and so 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 proud of you yeah so yeah that is kind of it in a nutshell really she is doing really well she's developing fantastically she is just an absolute joy in terms of the type of baby she is she is clingier than bill was um in that she just loves to be in the thick of it so she can sit on your knee even if you don't pay her any attention and you're not playing with her and you're talking to someone else or you're talking on a camera she is happy because she's with you um and she's not left out and she's not over there um whereas bill would be quite happy as long as you were in eyesight but he was much more cuddly like if he was with you he would cuddle like as a baby whereas daisy 
doesn't really cuddle, do you? Daisy just thinks about the next thing that she can destroy. <laughs> um, so she prefers, she does like a cuddle, don't get me wrong, um, but she prefers to sort of pull hair or play with your face or play with your clothes or scream and shout at you or get distracted by a camera. Um, so she's definitely the sort of person that likes to be in the centre of everything. And <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Um, but we absolutely adore her. She's brilliant and she makes our family so, so happy. She's such a sweet little girl. And honestly, she is so... She's a joy to be around. She's such a bubbly and chirpy little thing. And she's just a little darling. We're so, so proud of her. Honestly, I can't say how proud of her we are. You're brilliant. And I love you so much. Stop trying to pull my lips. So, we're going to say goodbye yeah we are we will see you for her eight month update which is going to be just before christmas so i hope you're all doing well um if you're new to my channel and you have a baby i would love to hear from you um and please subscribe if you haven't already ow and we will see you next time won't we yeah yeah goodbye hey 